Teddy Anders will watch Dante's Boxing Nation. Keep watching. Otherwise, Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? You know, watching this fight last night between Stevenson and Fafara, before Stevenson got knocked down, believe it or not, I wasn't that impressed with Adana Stevenson. Once again, before he got knocked down, and I'll tell you why. Sure, he was he was knocking down Fafara, he was hurting him constantly, but it wasn't a complete performance. And that is because Stevenson relies on nothing but the left hand. I mean, he takes being left hand crazy to a whole nother level. This man, even when he gets you hurt, he still throws nothing but the left hand over and over and over again. Quite frankly, if Stevenson would have been using both hands, he most likely would have got Fafara out of there before Adonis himself ended up getting fatigued and knocked down. It was funny because I was as I was watching the fight, I was already thinking about making a video on what I was going to say. And I was going to basically make a video saying that I wasn't that impressed with Adonis. This is before he got knocked down. Okay, it looked like it was eventually it was going to knock this guy out or it was going to go 12 rounds. But once again, all we get from Adonis over and over is the left hand. This man can do so many things in the ring if he becomes a two-handed puncher. But that's what a lot of fighters do when they have a lot of power in one hand. You know, that's all they throw. Now, it wasn't until after Adonis Stevenson got knocked down, that's when I became impressed with his performance. Because then he had to deal with adversity that he wasn't really used to dealing with. Adonis is not the type of fighter who always gets knocked down. Okay, And not only that, but he was in a ring with a solid guy. This wasn't a guy who was just coming off of a knockout loss. This wasn't a bum that he was in the ring with. I believe he was undefeated in his last 12 fights. And out of the 12 fights, 10 of those wins came by knockout. So Adonis Stevenson, he was in there with a decent opponent. He wasn't in there with a slouch or a bum. Now, the most impressive thing about Adonis coming back from that knockdown was the fact that he was no longer really just a one-handed puncher anymore. I seen something that I had never seen Adonis do, and that is fight on the inside, something that he had never done before. Usually Adonis is always fighting you from the outside trying to land that long-ass left hand, but he, he changed it up for this fight. He adjusted because Adonis understood, and not only did he understand, but mainly his trainer understood, because that's the person who told him to do it. His trainer understood that this guy was catching Adonis from far away with long-ass right hands, so it's safer to be on the inside, right? So if Adonis would have, would have applied this you know, in the first couple of rounds, he probably would have got this guy out of here within the first five or six rounds, okay? Adonis started to apply pressure. And he started to use both hands. He started to go to the body very viciously with hooks, with straight lefts. He came up top with uppercuts. It was very impressive. It was the type of Adonis that I had never seen before. So, you know, that's why I say I was impressed because he adjusted. He adjusted and he dealt with adversity. I mean, you have to understand the way Adonis got knocked down, that wasn't a flash knockdown. Adonis was gassed out. He was damn near ready to go. You can, you can just see, even when he got knocked down, even when he stood back up, he had his head down. He looked like he was close to the end, okay? He didn't look confident anymore. It was no more smiling and all of that kind of stuff. All of a sudden, next round comes, and now he's pushing back, you know, Funfara and hurting him again. And that's pretty much how the rest of the rounds went all the way into the final bell. So I was pretty impressed with Adonis once he got knocked down to really see what he was made of. He made adjustments. He looked like a fighter who could possibly transform himself one day into possibly being a two-handed fighter. Now, I know once he goes back and fights other opponents, he's going he's gonna to most likely go back to just trying to land that left-hand bomb that he has. But, uh, you know, if he fights against Bernard Hopkins, that would give Bernard Hopkins a little bit of an edge if he fights like that, just to, trying to throw nothing but the left hand. Because fighters like Bernard Hopkins, they are masters at nullifying your favorite weapon, taking it away from you. Okay, so that would be a very interesting fight.
But another fight that I would much rather see before the Hopkins fight is still Adonis versus Kovalev. That's the fight I think needs to happen. I know Adonis, he left HBO now and he's with Showtime. But I think this fight could possibly happen if both parties really want to make the fight. So that's pretty much all I got on this one, guys. I'm on to the next one.